Hi Atari friends, in this video I would like to show you how you can connect your Atari 8-bit computer to a modern screen with HDMI video input. To do that we would need a mini AV to HDMI adapter, this is a basic AV audio video to HDMI upscaler, it can switch select between 720p to 1080p, you can use a small switch here on the back to select which mode you want to upscale to. This adapter has been sell, sold on eBay or Amazon for $10 to $15. So we need this adapter. You would also need a power cable because this adapter requires 5 volt DC. So you do get the cable of, uh, with the kit, but you need to add a small power supply. I'm just using uh, my old iPhone uh, power supply here. So we're going to connect, and you need also an HDMI cable. This is a standard HDMI cable that connects on the back of the screen to the HDMI input and into the adapter HDMI output. And the one uh, last component that you need to add is the Atari monitor cable. This cable can also be bought off eBay. Uh, it output, it uses the Atari Dean 5 connector monitor output into an RCA uh, uh, video and uh, audio, so I'm going to connect that into the upscaler. So that's the input, analog video input, and goes to HDMI digital output. I'm going to connect that to the back of the Atari computer. That's the monitor output. Let's switch on the screen, plug the adapter to the power. As soon as we plug the adapter to power, we, we will see that the, the light will turn red. That means it's switched on. Okay, so now the adapter is on. I'm going to switch the screen, the TV, into an HDMI video input. <clears throat> and I'm going to turn on the Atari computer. As soon as we turn on the Atari computer, about three to four seconds later, the screen will show up. And now we are uh, in basic. The quality is uh, fairly nice. It's decent, it's the same quality as if I would connect my Atari directly to an older screen that uses an analog input. So the image is, uh, is nice, audio is nice. It works fairly, fairly well. If I want to get even a better quality, a higher quality, then I need to add a mod into the Atari computer, um, a mod like the Sophia upgrade, which it's an add-on board that outputs the video into a DVI. And from here, I can use another adapter that costs about $30 that converts DVI into HDMI and here the screen will be super sharp because there is no downgrade uh, when we don't have to go any analog uh, on, on our way. So the Atari takes the video output of the Antic and GTIA, convert it into an analog to be output to the t older TV or to the older monitor. And here we're using this adapter, we just simply convert it back to digital DV, uh, DVI. Uh, with those Sophia upgrades, you don't have to do any analog uh, along the way. You simply go digital from the GTIA and Antic directly to your upscaler and to the screen. And of course, the image will be super sharp. But this is fairly, fairly nice image and clean that can be used. I'm going to use my Ultimate card to show you some screenshot. 
The only thing that I notice is when you switch the screen off and on, it takes a couple of seconds to go back. That's probably because it takes this adapter to identify the um, image, the analog image, and, up, and to output uh, the HDMI video out. Let's go into Tools. Try something else. I want, it's not the one I wanted to load. Yeah, you can see colors are nice. Uh, fairly clean image, very decent screen to use. Let's try another one, another tool. Yeah. You can see the colors, you can see um yeah, you can see some artifacting, that's because it still goes analog on the way. Let's try and load the demo. Try this demo. The yeah, audio is nice, clean, clean audio. Decent image, you can even take that into your big screen on the living room and play the Atari on the, the big screen. Well, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, keep enjoying and play with your Atari.